All right, so I have been tracking this crazy story that unfolded at a uh, Starbucks down in South Carolina. It's actually very close to where I started college at Clemson mm -hmm. University. So I was watching this great, with great interest. A number of workers approached their manager and collectively asked that manager for a pay raise and other improvements in working conditioners. Conditions. <laughs> conditioners, oh my God. <laughs> the manager freaked out, filed a police report, claimed that they were assaulted and accused these workers who are now unionized at this location of kidnapping them. And uh, More Perfect Union actually obtained the police report, which goes into the details of what this manager said that these <laughs> workers did. Let's go ahead and put this up on the screen. They say exclusive. We've obtained the police report filed by Starbucks manager in South Carolina that falsely accused union workers of kidnapping and assault. Workers demanded that Starbucks give them the pay raise that went to non-union workers. Instead, Starbucks sustained suspended them. So this, again, is what the manager claimed, that they were threatened and it was an assault and it was kidnapping and all of this. Well, More Perfect Union also obtained the audio of the whole incident, and none of that happened. The audio shows the workers calmly asking for a pay raise that Starbucks has, by the way, illegally withheld mm -hmm. because you can't, you know, you can't punish workers just for being unionized. The manager then leaves the meeting, not kidnapped, after six minutes with no incident. So that's what really happened there. And these workers have been suspended because of this whole situation yeah, when they nuts. were just exercising their like collective rights to ask for something that they are actually owed. Yeah, the police report and the audio especially, as you pointed out, I mean, it shows clearly six minutes, they asked for a raise and then the guy left and then he called 911 and said <laughs> that he'd been kidnapped. Like what? <laughs> How's that even possible? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is serious. Like, this is kidnapping and assault. Those are like, I mean, if it's actual kidnapping, you know, I mean, those are, that's a serious felony. That's a crime. Yes. And he's trying, not only is suspended, has serious, I mean, besmirchment of character. Honestly, they should sue him. Uh, that's really what should happen here as a result uh, for defamation of character and for a false police report, you know, at the very least, given that they have so much evidence. So I don't know what this idiot was thinking, but uh, yeah, backfired mess. It's really something. Yeah. And you have to say, like, first of all, workers were very smart to yeah, report oh, this. Yeah, yeah, always so report have, and stuff like this. Yeah, yeah just saying. definitely. So that they had the audio recording so that then right. when the manager was like, I was assaulted and kidnapped, mm -hmm. they could be like, oh, really? Because here's the recording. And then, uh, you know, kudos to More Perfect Union for following the story. And, and there have been a number, you know, there's been a, a resurgence of labor reporting that I think has made a huge difference in terms of really understanding these issues and shedding light on this. Because even though, you know, I, I can't imagine that the assault charges are going to go anywhere now, these are workers were still suspended. Suspended. So this also gives them some some grounds to be able to try to get uh, reinstated there and and take this ultimately to uh, Starbucks and and show that this was that this was wrongful. Not that Starbucks higher ups will care, but they would care about legal ramifications. Right. And you have an NLRB that actually bar backs workers now. Totally agree. All right, guys, more for y'all later. Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.